In 1999, Yoshiyama, a doctor of math and biology, fell in love with an artificial life form whom he created inside a computer. A child was born from the union of the couple within computer memory space. His dual nature allowed him to freely travel between the, the real world and cyberspace and the ability to control electricity. His name was Pulse Man. Around that time, a series of interrelated crimes have been have, have began occurring a, on a on a global scale. Galaxy Gang, led by the mysterious Doc Wariyama, was responsible. <laughs> hey everybody, Flingo25 here. Welcome to Let's Play Pulse Man for the Sega Mega Drive in Japan. Well, actually, I'm playing it on the Wii's Virtual Console as a re-release. First, let's go to the options. I need to change my controls. Uh, there we go. Uh, Pulse Man, a game created in 1994 by Game Freak two years before Pokemon Generation 1 was made. Yep, the Game Freak made other games besides um, Pokemon. And this game actually has... And this game uh, is actually one of the games that... Um, what's it called? Game Freak uh, references a lot in Pokemon. So, yeah, let's get started. that? Well, since this game was also released for the Sega uh, channel for the Sega Dances, which doesn't work anymore, um, there was a translation, and some people actually made ROM hacks, well not ROM hacks, um, and made the game a bit of an emulator version for, to get the translation, to get the translated version. So thankfully I managed to uh, look up the translated versions on YouTube and wrote down how, what the Japanese, um, what's it called? Japanese subtitles to, uh, write down a notepad that I have here and read them out loud. So, yeah, story, if you didn't skip the intro, is pretty simple. Um, uh, a person named, whatever his first name was, I forgot, I'll look back. Um, Yoshiyama created, created computer life, or sea life as it's called. However, he, he fell in love with one of them. Plugged himself inside a computer, got laid, okay, so he pretty much made that system get laid, <laughs> and had a child who later became Pulse Man. Um, unfortunately, since he took so much time inside his Saint Anne, SS Anne, called aka SS Anne for Pokemon Gen 1, um, the computer, the virtual world, or cyberspace as, I, as most people call it, caused his memory to get corrupted, making him Doc Wariyama, the leader of the Galaxy Gang, who's, who plans to take over the galaxy, even though they're taking, uh, Taking over Earth at the moment, so yeah, it's up to Pulse Man to, uh, to stop uh, to stop uh, his own evil, uh, to stop his own father from uh, taking over the world. But accompanying but accompanying him al along the way is this girl to the left of the state select screen, uh, Beatrice or Riche as he as he calls her short. Riche um, worked for the uh, Galaxy Gang, but since she knows, but since she knew notices that they are the actual, well, she realizes that. They're doing things that are evil. Then she pretty much went AWOL, but then she got captured and and, and was I don't know, well held hostage for disobeying them. But then Pulse Man came in, saved her, and then she immediately fell in love with them, becoming both his um, radio supporter and girlfriend. But even then, Beach just Beach just barely has any character in this game. So yeah, let's. So yeah, state. So anyways, that's that's the story. Um, it's so it's basic. Pulse Man has to stop his father. That's it. Stop Doc Wariyama from uh, from taking over the world. 
So anyways, we have a stage select here. We can either go through stage 1 Japan, stage 2 India, or stage 3 USA. Um, I'm going to do this in normal order, except for a certain stage in the second half. Well, actually, there's three parts. Three parts. The first part, we can only pick the first three stages. The second part, we can pick the next three stages. And the final part, we pick the, uh, the final stages available. So yeah, it's kind of Mega Man-ish, but a bit different. So yeah, let's get to it. Let's translate what Beatrice is saying right here. Galaxy Gang plans to use electromagnetic waves from a TV station to control people. Not on my watch. Japan. Most man controls like he usually does. He moves left and right. If you press, actually, I'll go that one later. He can jump with the jump button, attack with the attack button, and what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Anyways, if you look up uh, by pressing up on the D-pad and attack, you'll do a flip kick. If you if you duck and press the attack button while while ducking. You can do a half coffee grinder. Or, yeah, it looks like a half coffee grinder. So you can do an entire coffee grinder. Anyways, uh, the ma uh, every time you run, he gains more speed, kind of like the Sonic the Hedgehog does. However, if he gains enough, uh, and it, if he gains enough, he'll start sparking like he gathered a lot of um, stack electricity. Yeah, that's pretty much the gimmick of this game. And if he has enough, he can do this. A slash arrow, which is pretty much a projectile, which is activated by uh, pressing the attack button. Okay, what I just did there was a was a lightning dash, if that's what it's called. Oh wait, no, it's called flash dash. Oh, pretty much you have to press left or right twice to do it. It can pretty much allow you to gather uh, electricity faster and uh, avoid um, enemies or traps. If you press this button that I just used earlier, that kind of did a weird thing. You'll do the Voltecker, which, which is pretty much a ricocheting ball. Voltecker is translated to Voltacle, which it, which Pikachu can learn by the Pikachu Evolution family. So yeah, that's one of the references. Also, Pulse Man looks like a cross between Rotom and Lady Him. So yeah, that's one of the references. I'll go over that later. So yeah, the reason why I picked the first stage is because, well, it's a good tutorial of the go over the moves. Oh, what's that? Is that a robotic mouse? Well, actually, that's a sea life mouse. Basically, Doc Warrior, but didn't just hire humans. But he only hired one human, actually. But he also hired a. But he also created a lot of machines to uh, destroy to destroy anything that gets in his way or or do any evil stuff. But he also but he also hired, brought some sea life creatures with them, like this mouse, for instance. But how are sea life? It, but how the hell are sea life? Uh, I don't know, surviving on Earth, they can't, they die out, they die out of existence when they go to Earth, except for Pulse Man, who is part human. Well, it's simple, actually. Doc Wariyama created a system called the Eureka system. Yep, Eureka in full cast. The which basically allows these things to survive outside. However, Pulse Man, okay, however, if someone were to damage a uh, sea life creature, they also destroy their Eureka system, causing them to, de to disintegrate, or disappear out of existence. So yeah, that's basically it for the concept. Let's get let's get going. Oh god damn it! Ah, oh, actually, this is take three. I can't believe I got hit by the same freaking mouse. Ah, recording curse. Every time I try to explain everything. Oh god. I hate that cat. I better not die in freaking Tokyo. Keeps clipping through. What the hell? Where does it keep going? There we go. Uh, I'm trying to be careful. I'm, I'm trying to be a man by trying not to get hit by this age. Like, but I effed up again. What the hell? Ugh, freaking. Uh, yeah, the, the problem that this game, I the only problem I have with this game is a camera. My like, God, it's always focused on Pulse Man. Cafe Alex. Yeah, everything is, is in English except for the subtitles and the voice acting. So, yeah, so what's the point of the subtitles being in Japanese? It's kind of redundant. Ah, great. I forgot to explain the item. Uh, I'll pick up that item right down there. 
must kill mice. Okay, you see this item? This is a spark ball. Yeah, every time you pick up an item, Beatrice will come up and tell you what item you picked up. Collect ten of those, and you can gain extra life and refill your energy. Let me tell you this right now: you have three hits. If you die, if you get hit three, if you get hit three times, you're dead. God, right through Super Mario Galaxy. Except this game doesn't have any uh, power-ups that doubles your health. I gotta be careful, I hate the screen. I hate this screen. I can't even zoom out or anything. Alright, this item is an energy repair. Collect that to uh, refill your energy by one. Uh, even though collecting ten spark balls is better than that. Yeah, you're pretty much invincible when you use the bolt pecker. What, you can bounce off that thing? I didn't know that. Okay, that thing's not sea life. It's a uh, it's a normal robot. Uh, yeah, five spark balls. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab all the items because if you get fifty thousand points, you gain you also gain extra life, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, the score actually matters, but it doesn't but it doesn't uh, keep track of what your high score is. But even then, I don't really that doesn't really matter, right? There's no more no bragging rights. Oh cool, I killed an enemy. So yeah, our goal here is to stop uh, the uh, stop uh, the Galaxy game from taking over our TV station, uh, which is right there, but we can't get through this because of a because of a conveniently placed wall. So how do we get there? Well, we have to go through this television screen of some sort. Yeah, remember what remember what the game said? False Bank can freely travel through the real world and cyberspace, which has more colors. The colors here in this game, and the game's graphics are pretty beautiful, especially for a 16-bit game. But, uh, more on that later, because there are some things that are just eye-raising, or seizure-inducing. If you thought that Pokemon anime episode, um, Electric Por uh, Soldier Porygon was horrible because of the seizures, well, you haven't played Pulse Man. But that, that's only noticeable during the third level. Alright, I have eight spark balls now. Ah! Not twos! Okay, so there's another Pokemon reference. Not two. Alright, so this place is pretty self-explanatory. Ah! Chip spiders. I, I don't even know the official names of the enemies, except for the ones that look like Pokemon. This one is not a Pokemon, obviously. These chip spiders are rather annoying because they're small hits. Because their hitboxes are rather awkward. Pretty thin. Yeah. Any more? There's these weird floaty thingies. Yeah, if you use the flip kick, you're pretty much invincible. Like, projectiles can't even hurt you for shit. They don't hurt you. No, you flip right through them every time you do that. I mean, I want to show that animation. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna fall! So yeah, I got a one-up for collecting, uh, ten spark falls. Anything down here? Yeah, I gotta be careful, too. Be you gotta be careful, too, because the screen can't tell you if there's a bottomless pit right down here. Down, down below you, because the screen really wants really wants to focus on false man. Oh, there's one up down there. Secret walls. Yeah, one ups are pretty self explanatory. Oh, I can't even dash on those platforms, I forgot. Okay, I find it pretty difficult to dash to the left because I'm always used to hitting the right. Well, that's the basic of platformers. Move to the right, no left. Oh, that's it. I thought there was going to be more Zaku missiles. Anyways, to the TV station. The RWT network. RWT network. On the air. Um, 
there's a body there, and he's lying unconscious. And there's these cameras that are hacked. That to try to kill me in a dumb, a really dumb pattern. And there's spikes and sea life mice. Oh god damn it! I hate these cameras. Whoa, shoot. Yeah, this game can't even doesn't even tell you. It doesn't even give you invisibility invincibility frames for some for some stupid reason. Got hit twice. I can't believe that. Try to kill the amount of and try to kill a lot of enemies as I possibly can just to get extra one ups. Uh, the, what the hell? It didn't even grab me. Oh, okay, that okay, that platform is pretty weird at times. It grabs you, but it doesn't grab you at the same time, which is really weird. Okay, come on. Really? There we go. I don't get that thing at all. Yeah. Even the newscasters get down. Jeez, what kind of EMP is this? Do they just shock everyone to death for a bit? Oh, god damn it! Stop moving, fucking camera. Right. Right to get this thing. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can use the Volt Hector for many maneuvers. I think, yeah, in editing, I'll also put in references. If, if, okay, future me, don't, don't insult me, please, if I already, uh, if I, uh, if you already did that job. Is there anything down there? Doesn't matter where I go. Ah, oh. oh, I want a health item. Ah, the first boss. What is he doing? Whoa. Okay, so this guy's pretty much using a virtual hand of some sort. And we have to destroy it via cyberspace. This thing is pretty easy. Just spam the flip kick and, you, and you'll be fine. I don't know how many hits it takes. Nine hits? I think that's six hits so far. I don't know, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh god damn it, ten, eleven, okay you don't, uh, oh, twelve, thirteen, okay you don't just use the uh, attack button, you can also use the jump button to do the flip kick. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Yeah, this boss is pretty easy. He's right there. As you can see, he's controlling the hand. Is that seventeen? I think he takes eighteen hits. Yep, eighteen hits. Hmm, what attack should I do to blow up his equipment? Oh, I know. <laughs> Overkill. Due to the efforts of Pulseman, the case was completely solved. Uh, that newscaster is Lisa Patfield. She looks like, uh, I'll go over that later. Bonus stages. It happens every time you complete a level, except the final level. That's a Volt Tecker power. Uh, if you, uh, pick it up, then you'll have infinite Volt Teckers and, um, what should I call it? Um, slash arrows, because, well, 
You have the maximum amount, you, so, you keep you, so you don't have to run to gain energy. Bonus stage is pretty self-explanatory. Ah. There we go. So yeah, good way to get points for, to get 50,000 points. Uh, yeah, editing, I'll explain who that newscaster is. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, so, uh, gotta change the batteries.